All right, it's that time of year again. The Lady Flames soccer team is back on the practice field, and we're visiting now with the head coach, Lang Wiedemeyer, entering his second season here with the program. And, uh, Coach, your second season, your first season getting ready for a sun play, a couple of practices in now. What have you seen from the young ladies? Well, it's still pretty early. You know, we did some fitness testing yesterday, a little bit of uh, kind of our team dynamics and how we want to defend. Uh, good session today. The girls are working hard. We've got 10 new freshmen in this year, so they're really adding a lot, not just to on the field, but our team dynamics overall. And so we're really happy with kind of the energy level and enthusiasm of the players. Yeah, you lost eight seniors from a 10-win team last year that was two wins away from going to the NCAA tournament. This is year two for you. There's probably some more comfort level there for you and your staff, but having so many young players on the team, you still probably feel like you're starting over in some ways, don't you? Well, absolutely. I, I think this past spring was really a great time for our program where uh, the girls really just kind of bought in and uh, we really had a chance to refine a little bit of how we want to play, implement some new things, and really work on our culture. And the new players that are coming in, obviously there's a learning curve here for all of them, but uh, we feel like the culture of our program is really t going to another level, and we're excited about that and how that will transcend to good play on the field. Is it exciting, though, to have some of you know your recruits here and, and your players that, that you've kind of handpicked to, to be part of this? Yeah, a lot of these girls, uh, although they're great girls, many of them were recruited by former coaches. There are a couple that we picked up late when I first came in, uh, but again, it, it really feels much more kind of like my team now, so to speak, and, and just my relationship building with the players. So again, it's been very good so far. Has the move to the A-Sun affected preparation here this, this summer? Has it been a little bit different? Not really. I mean, our non-conference schedule is really where we have a lot of our focus, and, and it's going to be one of the hardest, if not the hardest, that Liberty's ever faced with Virginia Tech, UVA, Clemson, LSU, William & Mary, JMU, uh, Elon, George Washington, UNC Charlotte. I mean, that, that is these are really, really top-level teams, and uh, there, there's no easy game in there. So we've been preparing really for that, and uh, once we kind of get through that and catch our breath a little bit, then we'll start to figure out the A-Sun. Where do you anticipate some of the position battles being on the field for playing time? Losing so many players, having so many new players, I would figure there's probably quite a few of those. There are. I think that one of the great things about our program is we have great depth. And so there's going to be a lot of competition for spots really all over the field. Certainly we have some of the players that uh, did very well for us last year. Uh, Cora Dunnick, uh, Mel, J. Rome. Uh, Hadley Jones. I mean, these players certainly had a good uh, Gabby Farrell, uh, but there's a lot of competition. So I think that uh, it's going to be exciting as we go through this preseason to see who really rises up and kind of takes hold of that of those positions. How quickly are you hoping to get some of that figured out? <laughs> As soon as we can. But again, we want to give players plenty of opportunity. Right now, we're really in an education phase these first few days. We're just kind of bombarding them with style of play, how we want to defend, how we want to attack. And then as we kind of go through that, we'll start to figure out uh, who's best in certain places and who plays well together. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's certainly a, a, a quick transition here because you've got an exhibition game coming up on August the 10th and then you start the season what August the 16th right after that so a lot to figure out here over the next couple of weeks so where do you hope this team is in a, in a week's time? Well, like you said, I think that we want to really have all the groundwork laid for uh, how we want to attack, how we want to defend. We want to start to put people in certain positions and see how they fare and uh, and start to prepare for uh, for those first games. And really, it's it's really about trying to put all those puzzle pieces in and then coming back and then re-emphasizing them about you know, our style of attack, style of defense, and uh, player uh, personnel. Some of those uh, ladies that you mentioned are those uh, – Kind of describe the, the workload that's going to be expected of them and uh, how much more they're going to have to take on this year. I mean, some of them, as you said, had success. They were all conference players, but now having to, to step up a little bit more. Well, yes, and I think there was a – last year was a little bit of an off year for some of those players. You take Gabby Farrell, who was a freshman, it was a little bit of an unknown and caught people by surprise and scored a bunch of goals and a little bit of a downturn. She was very important for us, but – I think she's playing with a lot of confidence right now. She's excited to take a little bit of that weight on her shoulders and say, you know, I'm ready to step up uh, and, and be a leader for the team on the field. So it's exciting to see some of those things. I think Kaylee uh, Cardos really stepped up and had some good games last year. I think she's ready to, to take her game to another level. Um, you've got other players like Sarah Erickson and, and, and 
um, Abby um, person who are captains and leaders and they're you know these girls are all ready to kind of take some of that leadership on their shoulders and and help the team uh, move to another level all right coach we appreciate the time wish you the best of luck coming up here as you prepare for the start of the season great thanks so much